what I did was made my own fuel injector uh, tester cleaner. There's some different ones out there. Um, anyway, this one's very simple. Uh, some of the guys I know have been putting, drilling and tapping the caps. I think it's easier just to get a bell reducer, save all that work. Uh, you know, there's really no need to go with no big old pipe or tube. It's not like you're filling it real, real high. But here's just a one I made to give people ideas on kind of a simpler one to make. Um, some pipe fitting, a little ball valve, put a pressure gauge. Uh, I did make this piece on the lathe. Um, and that I think was a 916 hole for the injector and then I know you can cycle these with the double A's I happen to already have a tool for that the Stuxton um, you're able to dial in the time interval or continuous but with the injector slid in there and just a simple piece of aluminum bent up to trap it it uh, it works it works well I've been using the throttle body and intake cleaner you know fill it up through the port and pressurize it to about 35 36 psi and then cycle it and my injectors I don't think were really all that dirty to begin with but you know I just I wasn't sure and then one thing I, I noticed to help you watch the spray pattern is if you get a light with a strobe function you can really see the pattern really good while it's spraying so just the strobe function on a light worked out real well and you know that's pretty much about it it, uh, it works real well it's simple um, and just another idea um, can't remember the one guy who made one uh, I was gonna make mine off that OT des TC design you know roll the can and all that and start looking around on YouTube and some of the guys the one guy I can't remember his thing otherwise I can maybe give him credit but you know I was like oh wow you know I just instead of putting the fitting straight so your hose has to loop over just put a 90 on there a little less easier I think um, I went with a lot shorter setup than a big tall long one so just a little idea for some guys and then you know I don't know if anybody's into making their own fuel ends but instead of buying the tool you know you can buy these ends and then what I did was is I took a caulk gun um, and I don't have the adapter on there right now but quarter 20 thread that helps stabilize the rod and you can install your own ends the adapter I had made up fits in there and oh and then the other piece I use to hold the hose is uh, from a brake flaring kit you know the piece that holds the brake line that works real well you know lay that bar across there so while it's holding the hose you can drive these fittings in and one other thing that works really well is pure silicone grease you put that on there and you know you can make these it, it saves a lot of money from having to buy the driving tool this caught gun was like a buck ninety so just a, another little thought I throw in there and you know I hope it gives anybody any ideas that they want to make their own but uh, pretty simple and you're able to put cleaner under pressure for your injector so I hope it helps out